In The Searchers, a 1956 western directed by John Ford, John Wayne portrays a Civil War veteran on a relentless quest to rescue his niece, portrayed by Natalie Wood, from her captors. This gripping narrative unfolds against the backdrop of the American frontier, where personal vendettas and survival intertwine. The film delves into the dark theme of violation by a prominent actor during its production, shedding light on the harrowing experiences behind the scenes of this cinematic classic. The 1956 film The Searchers, directed by John Ford, is set against the backdrop of northwestern Texas. Despite its setting, the actual filming locations were far from Texas. The production utilized the striking landscapes of Monument Valley in Arizona, which provided a dramatic and expansive setting that has become synonymous with classic Western films. The choice of Monument Valley was due to its vast desert landscapes, punctuated by towering sandstone butts, which offered a visually stunning and harsh environment that mirrored the film's narrative of a relentless quest. Additional filming took place in Mexican Hat, Utah, which added to the authenticity of the depicted territory. The film also included scenes shot in Bronson Canyon, located in Los Angeles, California. This location is known for its rocky terrain and has been featured in numerous films. The combination of these diverse locations helped to create a convincing portrayal of the rugged Texas frontier and contributed to the film's visual storytelling. The Searchers is often praised for its cinematography and the use of real locations that enhance the film's atmosphere and depth. In the production of the 1956 film The Searchers, directed by John Ford, a significant casting challenge arose. The director's first choice for the role of Martin Pauly, which was ultimately played by Jeffrey Hunter, was actor Fess Parker. However, Parker was under contract with Walt Disney, which created a conflict that prevented Ford from casting him. This contractual obstacle necessitated a change in casting plans, leading to Hunter's involvement in the film. The change had a notable effect on the dynamic of the characters in the film's direction. Despite this hurdle, The Searchers went on to become a highly regarded film in the Western genre, with Hunter's performance as Martin Pauly contributing to its success. The casting challenge is a reminder of the complexities behind film production and the influence of studio contracts on the creative process. The Searchers, directed by John Ford and released in 1956, is often considered a pivotal Western film for its portrayal of complex characters and themes. The narrative is driven by the quest of Ethan Edwards, played by John Wayne, who embarks on a relentless pursuit to rescue his niece Debbie, abducted by Comanche warriors. This plotline mirrors the historical event from 1836, where Cynthia Ann Parker was taken from her family by Comanche warriors. Over the years, she became integrated into the tribe, adopting their culture and way of life. The film explores the tension between settlers and Native American tribes, the psychological impact of loss and obsession, and the difficult process of cultural assimilation. It delves into the psyche of Ethan Edwards, whose search for his niece becomes a journey of self-discovery and confrontation with his own prejudices and humanity. The film's depiction of these themes has been a subject of study and discussion reflecting the complexities of American history and identity. During the filming of The Searchers in 1956, Natalie Wood's daily routine was far from ordinary for a high school student. Her mornings began not with the usual walk or bus ride to school, but with a ride from none other than John Wayne and Jeffrey Hunter, her famous co-stars. This unique start to her day brought a sense of adventure and excitement that most teenagers could only dream of. The experience of working on a major film set, combined with the attention from two of Hollywood's leading men, undoubtedly made her school days extraordinary. As she balanced her education with her budding acting career, these moments of being chauffeured to the set were not just about convenience, but also about the thrill of being part of something significant in the film industry. During the audition process for the 1956 film The Searchers, Lana Wood had a memorable encounter with two of the film industry's giants, John Wayne and John Ford. The experience was distinctive, showcasing the contrasting personalities of the two men. John Ford was known for his straightforward, no-nonsense directing style, often being very direct in his communication and expectations. This approach was evident during Wood's audition, as Ford likely provided clear and candid feedback, guiding her performance with precision. On the other hand, John Wayne, with his friendly and approachable demeanor, would have provided a sense of ease and comfort. His presence during the audition could have helped to alleviate some of the natural tension and nervousness that comes with such a high-stakes situation. 
The dynamic between Ford's directness and Wayne's warmth created an environment that was both challenging and supportive, allowing Wood to deliver a genuine and responsive audition. Director John Ford's approach on the set of The Searchers was a study in contrast. Known for his fiery temper and penchant for practical jokes, Ford's behavior could often be unpredictable and challenging for cast and crew. Despite this reputation, he displayed a softer side when dealing with Patrick Wayne, son of the film star John Wayne. Ford treated the younger Wayne with a degree of kindness not often extended to others, protecting him from the brunt of his volatile nature. This differential treatment highlighted a unique aspect of Ford's character, revealing a capacity for empathy amidst his usual stern demeanor. The 1956 film The Searchers had a significant influence on the movie industry, particularly on Peter Fonda, who drew inspiration from its exploration of themes such as the quest for identity and the essence of America. This inspiration was instrumental in the conceptualization of Easy Rider, which Fonda saw as a contemporary reinterpretation of The Searchers. The film's impact extended beyond its narrative and into the way it shaped the portrayal of American culture and identity in cinema. Fonda's vision for Easy Rider was to reflect the spirit of the searchers in a modern context, capturing the sense of a journey and the pursuit of a personal and national identity within the changing landscape of America. This connection highlights the enduring relevance of the searchers and its ability to inspire future generations of filmmakers to explore similar themes in new and innovative ways. During the filming of The Searchers in 1956, a memorable incident occurred involving actor Ward Bond. Known for his strong presence on set, Bond was in the midst of a take when an unexpected interruption occurred. This disruption was not just a minor hiccup, but one that halted production momentarily, leading to a display of the close-knit nature of the crew. It was moments like these that, despite the challenges, highlighted the collective effort and spirit among the cast and crew. They worked together to overcome obstacles, demonstrating their dedication to the craft of filmmaking. This particular event with Ward Bond is often recalled as a testament to the camaraderie that underpinned the production of this classic film. The incident served as a reminder that the process of creating a cinematic piece involves not just the visible efforts on screen, but also the unseen trials and triumphs behind the scenes. The 1956 film The Searchers pays homage to Harry Carey, a celebrated actor of the Western genre, by casting his widow, Olive Carey, and their son, Harry Carey Jr., in supporting roles. This gesture of respect extends to the film's final moments, where John Wayne, a leading figure in Western cinema, adopts a stance reminiscent of Carey's well-known screen posture. This silent tribute serves as a bridge between generations of Western stars, acknowledging the past while the narrative itself moves towards closure. The inclusion of the Carey family not only honors Harry Carey's contributions to the Western film tradition, but also provides a tangible connection to the genre's history, enriching the film's layers of meaning. The deliberate choice of Wayne's character to emulate Carey's pose offers a visual salute to the actor's enduring influence on the genre and those who followed in his footsteps. During the filming of The Searchers in 1956, a memorable incident occurred involving director John Ford. While on location, Ford was stung by a scorpion. Despite the painful encounter, the situation took a humorous turn thanks to actor John Wayne. Known for his quick wit, Wayne joked about the scorpion's unfortunate decision to sting Ford, suggesting that the creature might not have known what it was getting itself into. This incident is a testament to the resilience and humor that permeated the set, even in the face of unexpected challenges. The cast and crew were able to laugh off the incident, which served as a bonding experience and showcased their ability to handle the rugged conditions of the shoot with good spirits. This story has been shared among fans and film historians as a light-hearted glimpse into the camaraderie and behind-the-scenes moments that contributed to the making of this classic Western film. The 1956 film, The Searchers, directed by John Ford, stands as a significant piece in the history of cinema, not only for its storytelling and visual style, but also for its influence on popular culture. One notable instance of this cultural influence is the inspiration it provided to musician Buddy Holly. The film's dialogue includes the line that'll be the day which struck a chord with Holly. This phrase led him to write a rock and roll song bearing the same title. Holly's song, That'll Be The Day, went on to become a hit, further cementing the film's role in shaping cultural expressions beyond the medium of film. The cross-pollination of inspiration between film 
and music highlights the broader societal reach of the searchers, demonstrating how a single line of dialogue can resonate and lead to creative expression in an entirely different artistic domain. In the context of the 1956 film The Searchers, a significant controversy arose from an allegation made by Lana Wood. She claimed that her sister, Natalie Wood, was assaulted by actor Kirk Douglas during the production of the film. This accusation has cast a shadow over the legacy of the classic movie, bringing to light serious issues within the film industry. The claim made by Lana Wood concerning her sister's experience during the making of The Searchers serves as a stark reminder of the challenges and adversities faced by actors behind the scenes, particularly in the mid-20th century Hollywood. This incident is often cited as an example of the hidden and troubling experiences that can occur in the entertainment industry which are at odds with the glamour and allure typically associated with Hollywood's golden era. The Searchers, directed by John Ford and released in 1956, has been acknowledged as a significant work in the Western genre. The film is distinguished by John Wayne's powerful portrayal of Ethan Edwards, a character driven by an obsessive quest. This role is often cited as one of Wayne's most substantial and compelling performances. The narrative's exploration of themes such as obsession, revenge, and racism was groundbreaking for its time and contributed to the film's lasting reputation. Its visual style, with expansive landscapes and intricate framing, has been influential on subsequent generations of filmmakers. Directors like Martin Scorsese and George Lucas have cited The Searchers as an inspiration for their own work, highlighting its enduring influence on cinema. The film's approach to storytelling and character development continues to be studied and admired, solidifying its status as a classic and a benchmark for the Western film genre.